18 and up, please follow YouTube's guidelines. Good positive vibes only, and don't forget to subscribe. Enjoy the night. Stoner Nation. It's been a minute since I got on this bitch, but I, man, I wasn't feeling it. So if I'm not feeling it, I'm not gonna make a video. But obviously, day as you can see, I'm feeling it. So I wanna start with change the mood up since I've been gone for so long. I'm gonna tell a funny ass story time. I don't think I've told one story from about last year when I worked at a one star crack meth prostitute. It was just nasty, roaches, rats, anything on God in the in the lobby. You know how the lobby, it looked a little cleaner than the whole, than the rooms. The rooms were just shit. But the lobby, bro, you're supposed to not have roaches and rats. We ain't, ha I ain't no, we have, um, Oh, everything I love, I got videos too. We got we had roaches and rats. I was about to say we only had roaches, but we had both in the lobby. That's how nasty this hotel was. <sighs> A little side story that I just thought of. It was so nasty, bro. This one time, this girl shit the bed, bro. No cap, grown 50 some, 40 some year old woman. Shit the bed, bro. Called, she called me. She was like, us grown folks, sometimes we don't even know when we got to go to the bathroom and just shit happens. I don't know if she said shit happens, but that's funny. <laughs> but um, I was like, bro, to be honest, I'm not going to go down and clean that up, but I will get you some more bed sheets. If you could clean it up for me and I'll just, I'll show you where to put it and I'll give you the new bed sheet. I ain't even touched the shit. Anyways, that's not the funny story I wanted to tell you, but that really happened and that was crazy. And she shit the bed and she wasn't even old. She was like 40, 50s. That's crazy. He was one of the dudes I met at the hotel. Uh, one of the meth dealers, but he was cool though. He was cool and I'm up all night. I work from 9 p.m. to 7 in the morning. So I'm going to be up with people who are doing meth or the damn dealer or him. He was bold. Anyways, he wasn't cool. He was just somebody to pass time to talk to, you know. I can't explain for you. I'm going to try to get this. And this is when I'm smoking up big blunts. I brought two or three blunts. I work four days a week. I bring two or three blunts to work. Blow down in the hotel rooms. Man, these rooms smell like crack. Ain't on, they smell like cracking roaches and dirty sex, boy. So they not, and these rooms are like from the 1960s, boy. So they not going to be able to tell a little couple blunt smoked in there by yours truly. <laughs> they ain't even give me no breaks for a 10 hour shift. You know, I had to make do and go have, make my own smoke breaks. But anyways, that's not what we're supposed to talk about. All right. So I was trying to buy from this other dude I had just met like a month ago and he had some bro when, when I tell you he had that gas bro this is the only dude I've ever bought two for 25 from unless back when I was a little kid but this I'm like 18 buying two for 25 number one damn I just spit on my damn phone um but number one it was the only dude in the whole hotel who sold and I'm not gonna buy from some of the other people who sell meth and weed like in the hell no my phone <laughs> And I trusted this fool though, so I knew it wasn't gonna be no extra shit in there. I knew it was just gas. Anyways, he, uh, I, I bought from him a couple times, and this is like my third or fourth time buying from this fool. Let's call him T. My old friend T comes up uh, when I'm waiting on this fool outside on the front, waiting on this fool to serve me. He's gonna serve him a quarter. A quarter, if you don't know, is seven G's, bro. So this fool was getting served at seven G's for I think 90 or $100. And that is some tax on that bitch and i was not gonna say anything i'm just sitting there bro I don't, i'm i don't even know bro i'm just sitting there not knowing what's about to happen i know i'm calling him t and y'all gonna think he's black though this is a skinny white and these are both skinny white metes i guess just a map picture of them is that tatted up all that but um grown but uh he said serve uh me first he told the weed man to serve me first you know he served me little two g's and i'm still sitting out there talking because like, these are my two friends i don't know if they're friends but these are my two little it's like two or three in the morning bro i got i don't got shit else to do so as soon as i get my shit he told him the price yada 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 this fool looks around the t looks around then next thing you know Pulls out a goddamn, I think a switchblade. I think he switched it like this. I might, I think that's a pocket knife though, actually. But he switched that bitch like this, bro. And boom, shit got real. But not for me, but normally on oh God, my, my adrenaline would have been going. But I think, I think my maybe my adrenaline would have been going, wasn't going, but something was going though. And it was like watching a real life movie. Like I know, dude wasn't gonna do nothing to me, but so I wasn't really scared. I was just like, 
interested, I guess. Like, this, this is, like, I, I couldn't believe what I was seeing, though. So, this is, I'm just in shock, bro. I'm just in shock. Like, wow. I did not expect that to happen. I thought we was all cool. <laughs> How did I forget? This fool asked to smell the sack. If you're selling weed, bro, do never let the person smell the sack, see the sack, whatever. I don't know what he see or smell it. I think he said smell it, bro, but he was holding that shit in one hand. And then when he pulled out the switchblade, that was in his other hand. But he had the sack. I think he put the sack. Well, while he was pulling out, I think he put the sack up, too. But he already had the weed, and I, uh, uh, he didn't have to steal it from him or nothing. He already had it at this point, and now he has the, the blade out. Like, what's up, motherfucker? What's up, motherfucker? <laughs> And that literally, I'm not gonna repeat those words because I don't want YouTube to take this video down. But imagine those words over and over, both of them, bro. And imagine them squaring up. Imagine two white crackheads squaring up, bro. And the one with the knife. Oh, no, no, no. All right. The other one's squaring up, bro. The other one's like fake punching him over and over because he's the other dude's got a knife. So the one who just got robbed, I guess he's thinking, like, I can't just hit him. He's gonna cut me. I told her I shoot it in the face, metaphorical. So he's like, put the knife down, bro mother ever put the knife down mother ever while he's fake punching him and other dudes literally with the knife at first he was uh fake flinching at him uh with the knife and then he just like started walking bro just this cat not running not jogging not nothing bro this fool started Ling -ling. I've been Kyrie. you know what the other fool who just got robbed the whole time was doing walking right in this fool's face just talking shit bro he just got robbed i was literally just watching like i walked a little bit with them then i just stopped and watched it's, it was raining too it was sprinkling i was like bro this is crazy what the fuck is gonna happen next is this fool gonna hit him and then get stabbed or is this fool just gonna pull out a gun like what the fuck is gonna happen and what happened was that fool came back he said hey get in the truck with me we're about to go find this fool and run his ass over I said, what? Over seven G's that ain't even my shit. And you just sold me two for 25, fam? <laughs> no, I didn't say that. I said, for seven G's, it's not mine. In my head, I'm thinking you just sold me two for 25. Uh, you're not paying me. You're not, I'm not getting nothing for it. I'm not getting nothing out of it, but going to jail, bro? I'm like, bro, no, you're tweaking, bro. I'm staying right here. You handle that. So that fool left, came back with the motherfucking police. I guess he had called the police, bro. Then he brings the police in there to me and wants me to tell them what happened. I said, honestly, I didn't even see, bro. I wasn't even worried about them. I thought they was just friends. I don't, I don't know. Like, I just thought they was talking in front. I guess all this happened. Because I knew that the one spot that didn't have no cameras was the right in front of the front steps, bro. And that's where the other workers, she used to smoke weed on the front porch, bro. But she had a fat ass, and you know, girls, nobody's gonna bother them. If I was to smoke a blunt on the front porch. Man, people would snitch it on me for shit. I wasn't even doing it. I'm talking about crackheads snitching on me, bro. Because I had such a bad attitude. I had that what do you want attitude. If you came in my store, what do you want? Like, but man, crackheads will bug the hell out of you, bro. That shit was not, I wasn't in that, I was tired. I was overworked, tired, not in the mood to play with no crackheads. <laughs> But that's not what I even wanted to talk about, bro. Baby girl, I run in me. But basically, I see people fuck appearance. Everybody's interest and in what they fucking do every day is the like 80% of people or maybe 70% are the fucking same, bro. Everybody is either interested in sports or celebrities. No matter what celebrities, no matter which sports, it's either sports or celebrities or like or music, like all them rappers. So uh, music people, sports or celebrities, I guess celebrities and raps the same shit. Believe, and she can believe, believe. Yeah, yeah. And, or they play their fucking video game all day or whatever, or they uh, just hang with their friends and talk about one of the three things I just said. So like, what I'm trying to say is, a person like me, I literally don't give a single fuck about nothing worldly that the man made. No sports, no celebrities, because fame and clout, that's man, that shit ain't real, bro. The internet ain't real. The internet was man made. Everything that's man made isn't real. Like, it's real in our world because we give energy and we make it real. Like, yeah, this my YouTube page is real. But, bro, the internet could just boom, be deleted because it was made by man, so it could be taken by man. It's, I don't smoke like this, bro. I don't smoke fat ass. This shit is still going, bro. So my eyes are starting to burn.
If you meet at the side, babe, if the feeling is right, you could do whatever you like. That's on me. Damn. My eyes are burning. I'm just gonna tell the rest of the shit. Look what I gotta say about eyes closed. Out, all right. So out of the rest of the people who don't just live the same life as everybody else, but with different outer appearances, that's why I can never just go off appearances, bro. Because I don't want a girl that looks different on the outside, but it is is the exact same on the fucking inside. That shit is lame. I might as well date the other girl. Like, they all the same. The same. Basically the same. I have the same interests. The same. Y'all do the same shit every day. Y'all y'all basically the same. Y'all just have a different personality traits and shit and, and different looks. That's the only difference between people, bro. Niggas got something to prove, but I don't even approve that. Like, you can't say there's another. There's a hella B Gibbs out there. But you can't say that for everybody. That's tough. So out of that 30%, 20% of people left in this world, uh, 10 of them, they're their own people, or like maybe 20, maybe 15. I'm just making up these numbers. I hope y'all know that. But uh, half of those remaining people are just weird as shit, though. Like, uh, like I guess not a bad weird, but not a good weird. Uh, I don't know. Like, they, like, mm -hmm. like, technology has messed them up type shit, or something has, like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe them. Like, they don't have a purpose to their weird. Like, I can tell y'all everything, why I, why, I, why I am the way I am and why I do shit the way I do shit. But some people are just born and they don't even know why they do shit. Like, I went to rehab with this one fool and I ain't even gonna tell his whole shit. But basically, fool, like, that, he's, he had to, like, bro, he had so many weird twigs that, that he couldn't control, bro. It's like his, his body had control over his brain, bro. Like, if he turned his head around and seen something that he didn't, he had to touch every single thing in every single area he went to. And if he turned around and seen something that he didn't touch, he would have to run all the way over there and touch it, bruh. And sometimes his brain, like, put, if he's seen dog shit, sometimes, or anything nasty, sometimes his brain would put that taste in his mouth. And that's why he would just start spitting and, like, needs, like he would go, like, crazy type shit because he would feel like he's tasting that. And that I'm not I'm not like that's that's not his fault or whatever, but um that like some people have to deal with that, and that's where all their focus and energy goes is to overcome their own weirdness that they can't even explain. So that's a chunk of people. Then there's a chunk of people, I guess, that are like of me who have reason for their weirdness and stand alone every single day of their life and have no friends, don't talk to nobody for a reason though, bro. Because you've been either hurt in the past by people or just basically everybody in your life, even like the people that are, the people that are supposed to be like this to you, the pe oh, I can't, I'm not trying to say what all the words I wanna say. If you don't, if, some people it's obvious that they just want their instagram like they're they're buying shit they're buying clothes and all this shit that you got to put how you get money you got to work right a lot like majority of people you got to work for your money so that's you're basically trading time on this planet you had to put time into your work for clothes bruh and up in appearance a lot of people for an appearance bruh to look a certain way like not not more than clothes like the if they have a fat stack of money and say the on top and the bottom is a hundred and all in between is some ones bro like you don't know that but i've been around some i've seen that shit bro like i've seen some people do shit just for flex and i probably did some shit back in the day like that bro just like just like what i said we'll put like some paper towels in your pocket to make have it make you look like you got bands in your pocket but you got paper towels in your pocket and these are just like weird examples there's other examples of how people do this and y'all can probably y'all know what i'm talking about but basically acting like you're, you you got it when you don't type shit because it's it's hard to get it <laughs> or if your parents have it that's not you type shit but anyways, even if you do have it and you still, even if you do get money and you still spend a big chunk of it on your appearance on social media and and look, if in, in real life, your appearance in real life, if you're, if you're going out of your way, bro, and you're spending it and everybody, this is the, you got to like have a mental check. And I promise nobody who does this is actually going to be watching my videos. I'm talking to the people who don't do this shit right now. That's who's only listening. 
but you know if you're spending too much on on different clothes and all these real chains and real watches and all that shit and most of y'all or a lot of people just buy fake shit but i mean if you're buying real shit that shit costs a lot a lot a lot of money all the different designer drips and all that shit and for what though like that shit shouldn't matter if you're wearing a the a, a, a white tee that has dog shit on it or if you're wearing the twenty thousand dollar louis vuitton you should not feel different in it bro and people do bro that shit will change you bro if somebody's wearing a dog shirt tee bro they're gonna feel different is where they got that twenty thousand dollar louis vuitton shit and that's that's not me and i'll never surround myself with people who believe like that bro because that's that's weak minded to me that's just my opinion so don't take that nowhere don't take it to heart for sure but that's just my opinion though because me i'm aware i'm aware shit with cum stains on it paint stains whatever 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 stains whatever dog shit stains and i'm gonna feel the same or i'm gonna feel like shit I'm going to feel like shit. If I'm feeling like shit, putting on, getting $20,000 just gifted to me by God, I'm still going to feel like shit, bro. Because I'm, because it's a way that I'm thinking about myself that has nothing to do with money. That's real depression. If you're sad about being broke, bro, you're not depressed. <laughs> That's straight like that. That's the realest shit I've ever said on my whole YouTube. <sighs> if you're sad about being broke, you're lazy, bro. You're not depressed. If you're sad about something, if you got reasons, I just told y'all one reason. I got multiple reasons. And there's a multiple different things that my brain thinks about it that tells me shit about myself, bro, that I can't, I don't know why it does it. That's that, remember when I was saying people battle with their weirdness? That's that's basically what I was saying. Like, but mine is like bad, bad shit, I guess. And I ain't explained this well in the video, but you can either choose to it like let your weird shit haunt you like sometimes i do that and that's why i don't get videos posted or you can choose to ignore it which sometimes i also do because look i did this shit for y'all so y'all don't have to do that bull ass shit and i learned whatever that but that shit was the best therapy like i y'all lost i'm talking about rehab now nah, i spent 103 days at the best rehab facility at the whole damn america it's people from all across america but Shit was crazy. I'm saying I did that 103 days and went through all the extra bullshit, but I can tell y'all the good shit that I learned from it. I get two years later, like I think about that shit a lot, like in this past two years. And I took, I found a lot of the, sh the shit I can take from that and learn and grow myself from that. Oh, what I was gonna say was, I did that 103 days and came back to, to to love but bruh when i it wasn't people bruh if i if i really miss somebody bruh i would have been texting their phone every day bruh i had a message from like one or two people bruh that whole time i was gone and i was gone for three months off the planet bruh like people thought i was dead type shit and i ain't getting no type of love on my phone that shit killed me bruh the whole time i'm there bruh I'm thinking about, I can't wait to hit this one bitch up that I literally, I just met a week before uh, I got sent away. But she, I think she had me unadded, bro, some bullshit. And that shit, like, I don't know, that was a, that, all this was just an awakening, like, damn. And so, I had not one single girl come back. I don't, I don't even remember the other girls. I just, I, so I just started from scratch there. And, I, um, friend-wise... It, it was like, I, I don't know, it was like everybody just continued their normal last life and I was just a part of their normal last life before and then I wasn't a part of their normal last life but life still went on and then boom, when I got put back in it's just like, oh hey, you're back type shit like, hey, what's up, let me give you a hug but they didn't for real miss me like that like I would have missed somebody like my love, that's how I know I'm like a different creature for somebody and I, that's why I've never gave not a single human on this earth my love not even my parents bro. I just know my love is too big to give like and, and that's why like I cut girls off so fast like within an, a day I went at them because I'm like I just don't feel like they're worth my time type shit because I know how good I will be to somebody if I can if they do get me to 
fuck with them, I guess. And so if, if I know that and I'm the only person on earth that's, that knows that because I've never had a girl, then I just got to wait till somebody basically sees it in me before I've shown it, I guess. And for somebody to do that, they have to be as special as me. And they are obviously a queen. So duh, gonna, whenever that happens, I'm going to have to treat her like one for sure. Cause I gave my dad love before, but I've never gave my mom love. But but we're I guess we're slowly starting to get cool now when I'm grown. But me and her have never even talked, bro. My whole life type shit. But she's been there, but like she's been there financially, but we've never talked, bro. And we every time we talk, bro, she she used to be horrible to me, bro. Type shit. She used to bully me mentally, bro. Say the worst shit to me. <sighs> and a, along with a lot of other shit, but. And the, and the weird shit is now, bro, if I say that shit to her, she's going to say that shit did not happen. Like, she'll deny all that shit. But I remember all the exact words she used to call me and all that shit, bro. That shit, that shit lame. But look, my dad, so so I never had feelings for my mom type shit. But my dad, I fuck with my dad, bro, because I was like, how was it? How can a father, like, I'm a, a son. Like, when I have a son, it's like a son and a father's relationship is just different, bro, because y'all are both, that's, that's you. That's you, fool. You're looking into you. And this fool, bro, just, this fool's made me cry so much and just, like, broke promises so many times, bro, and just, like, got to a point where, like, I don't know. That shit just, that shit makes me, that shit made me realize, because if that fool, if your own father can do that to you, bruh, then nobody who's not blood, you can, it's like, man, I'm in this world by myself, bruh, is what I'm trying to say. <sighs> I mean, I got a, I got a couple real brothers though, <laughs> but they're not, they're not, they're not going through the, the same as they're going through their own shit. They're, they're struggling with their own struggles, but they're not me though. They're not going through what I'm going through. They're not feeling what I'm feeling. They're not thinking what I'm thinking. And I, and that's why I don't got, I don't express that shit to nobody, but that's why I was gone for so damn long. Basically that it sums it up better without saying anything, without giving y'all any real i'ma get back on track yeah i'ma get back on track bad bitch i'ma get back on that bad bitch i'ma hit it from the back whoa i'm gonna hit it from the back i'm gonna hit it from the back I'm a i got so much shit to say but smoking weed that's why i smoke weed i'm high as fuck now like now i'm high i really don't like i really don't care to talk about that shit no more i'd rather just sit and vibe to some music bro because on me i feel like crying right now my eyes are full of tears. This is what your eyes are like, full of tears. But. Fuck your mother, bro. Chop a homie in the sinking like a leash. That shit don't do nothing, bro. Crying don't fix nothing. I don't know what fixes it other than, like, just re accepting it. That's what I've done, like, the t three days ago. Like, I just started to accept everything. That's the one thing I never did, bro. I never, like, accepted it, like, okay. I got to just overcome this. I just like, why? I just wanted to question it. Like, why? Why is he? Why is she well, like this type shit? Why are they like this? Why is why? 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 But fuck that. I just got to accept it. And stop trying to change it. I've been trying to change everything, bro. I've been trying to change how everybody else acted so I could fuck with them so so they could be in my life when really I've never just sat back and like what the fuck do I what the fuck does this dude right here I haven't went shopping for myself ever I've never ever ever I bought one t-shirt actually and so that don't but that don't count <laughs> and that was like three months ago but I've never ever went to the mall and say I'm gonna go shopping bro like and i don't know and i spent i don't know money don't matter to me so i only i wouldn't man I, I will say that shit bro i spend money on like since i started getting money when i was 16 bro people i don't even talk to now bro i've spent so much money on all those people bro and never and other than weed bro and that shit just lame to me that shit is lame to me looking back on that like why the fuck it why why was i like that Helping people out though, bruh. But doing also bad shit too. Like I had a job too, but 
we was also I was also selling shit and doing bad shit back then too. So I had money and still and that whole time when I had actual money, like the same amount of money that I got right now, back as a fucking little kid, bro. And I still did never looked out for myself, bro. Other than smoking hella weed, wow, a lot probably smoking hella people out, bro. I'm stacking my money and spending it all on myself for the first time, whenever. So when y'all see me one day, <laughs> but today. But like I said, my depression is not about money, though, at all. It's, it's about how this world is, though. It's about... It's about how, like, a person who thinks like me has to deal with 70% of their, maybe 80%. Like I said, I don't know the number of other people though, who are just fully involved in celebrity sports or other entertainment, something over the fucking phone and who just love that shit. I, I, not just, I'm high as fuck, not just love that shit, but live in that same world as everybody else. And who watch the same, or I don't even know, if you watch, people watch, man, I can't put it in words for y'all, bruh. Cause I don't think, I don't even know how many people it is like me who, the only reason I will watch somebody bruh on YouTube or that's the only thing I watch, I guess is YouTube or not, I guess I know is YouTube. And the only thing I watch that is just a pastime just because I'm literally like so fucking bored. I have nothing else to do, but I'm going to replace that with hanging out with my girl or my kid one day, hopefully type shit are doing something else I enjoy outside. But for right now, like that's what I'd spend that time on. And maybe other people have that same reason, but I don't believe that. I feel like people are gonna watch Netflix and TV their whole fucking life. This, a chunk of their day, while you have the other fucking chunk of your day spent at work or whatever you gotta, your responsibility is to do, your kid or whatever, so. And boom, that's two chunks of your day gone. And that's two chunks of your life gone because you do that same shit every day. That shit is lame as fuck to me. That's why I don't have no girl because no girl thinks the exact same as me on what I believe in. But one day, I guess, I don't know if I hope to start smoking weed, but right now, this is like, I guess, part of my path. The shit I do just to pass time is smoke weed, bro. But I enjoy this. I enjoy it. I need to make more videos. I wish I could talk like this in more videos. I gotta see what y'all think about this, but I don't think y'all gonna fuck with this shit. Y'all wanna see me be funny. I can be funny, though. Don't. <laughs> I can be funny. Uh, I just gotta, I guess, get in that mood, and uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but when I I, it's hard right now. I'm not in no funny mood. I'm in a serious mood. But I'm gonna end the video. I don't even got no blend no more. Why the fuck are y'all watching? Get y'all's lame ass out of here. No, I'm just playing. If you're still watching, drop uh, drop your favorite. No, nah, drop my favorite emoji. Drop an emoji you think I'll like, and I'll let you know if I like it or not. <laughs> Y'all not watching this far. Hell no, y'all not watching this far.